What's up, Billy Good Nation? All right, as y'all saw probably in Let's Dig's video, he kind of jumped the uh, reveal a little bit and uh, stopped by, helped him out a little bit on a uh, video editing issue. And so he uh, made some video of the tractor and y'all got a good laugh at me. But that's all good. It was, it was fun. And I uh, guess he was getting a little bit of payback for uh, where I would put out videos a little bit earlier than him on some stuff and things are going on, but it's all in good fun and uh, some good pointers too. So check out the video. This is when the tractor arrived and going through with the technician on the ins and outs of it. And then we do a little bit of uh, cleanup work and put the grapple to work. So check it out. Okay, you gotta set a fork please, good. Yeah. Gotta hide the forks. Yeah, all the time, hey, every time they bring something, they charge us $75 extra because I ain't have a fork there. All right, well, I pay for itself. Yeah, it will. Yeah. It's got a uh, thumb that goes here. Oh. Uh, but it's uh, on the way, it's not in yet. Yeah, yeah. Got our little controls. How's it going? Hey. Back up. You know what we need now? A diesel tank. We got some gravel on it already. The Lewisburg tractors who hooked us up. If y'all need something, you're in, well, you ain't got to be in this area. Just if you need something, uh, Jason, I'll put his details at the end. And uh, he will hook y'all right on up. That right there is going to get it done. Everybody been wondering how we're going to get all our mowing done. We got our little projects to do. We'll be able to knock those out now. And, uh, yeah, it's a little disconnect in the back. Set that off and then run the backhoe. Then we got a bucket for the front. And we got the grapple so we can grab some of these trees and just, yeah, just clean up this general crap in here. You know, get, get that, I'll tell you. Because, of course, when we're on the other farm that I don't have any video on, this is years ago. Of course, we had tractors and uh, skid steers and everything, so just been missing it. You know, need something. What do you think, Tater? What do you think? Ready to be a tractor operator? They have a tractor already. How much of an operator? Hmm. How much is that? We're not gonna talk about that. Well, I don't know what kind of tractors you got. <laughs> All manual. Everything we right got there. is manual. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, on this tractor, to start it, you had to push the clutch. Okay. They start it. Yep. And that's it. Okay. That's all you had to do. You know, then you just forward and reverse. And you got you. Um, oh, I got you. Just the pedal. So you yeah. just pedal forward, pedal reverse. This okay. Like this yeah. Just when I've had the mowing deck, it's just the height, the height of the yeah, back. Yeah, on the back. Okay. Uh, over there, you got you. Um, PTO. You gears the low, medium, and high. Oh, okay. Over there. All right. The PTO is right here. Okay. That's the PTO right there. All right. Um, you know, this is your brakes. And this is the one you get more, uh, more uh, RPMs. Okay. And that one right there is your four wheel drive. Okay. You pick it up, four wheel drive, push it down, two wheels drive. Okay. Um, right there is your clutch. You got turn signals, headlights. Um, this one right here is for the um, for the back. How fast do you wanna go down? Okay. So if you wanna go slow or you wanna go fast. Okay. You can control that one right there. All right. Um, this is your stick for your front loader. Up, 
down and uh, dump and pick it up. Okay. And you got your remotes right here for the grapple. Okay. And push on the one on the top, open, push the one on the bottom, close. close. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, if you wanna disconnect your front loader, you just push them right here on every one. And there's no way you can get confused because this they only one fit. is male and female. Got it. And right here they got color code. Got it. See, blue, blue and white. white. Yellow. Yellow and red. Okay. And the good thing is got the caps we can put in there yeah. to keep the trash out of the... Exactly. Yeah. And it's the same way in the front. Okay. In the front, if you want to take you... Uh, yeah, release the... the same way. Like that one over there. Gotcha. Those are the extras for the grapple to plug into. Yeah. And All then right. you just pick this one up. Pick this one up. Drop it down. Go. And then come back. Um, on your engine to open it, you have to pull this one right here, open this one right there, and you have a little, a little right here on this side. Okay. You just pull it. Oh. Okay. Now, battery right here, air filter right here, screen for your radiator is right here. You okay. just raise the, the front by this high, pull this one right here, and take it out. And you slide it out. And you can clean it. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, antifreeze right here. Does it take uh, certain antifreeze? Because I know certain the green. Only green, only? Yeah, only okay. green, yeah. Try to not mix green and red because, you know, they say it's, right. it's not good. <laughs> you are fuel and um, yeah. oil. It's on this side right here. That's your fuel filter right there. Yeah. Okay. And that's your engine filter right there. Okay. So you got them two right here close to. What, uh, what, uh, uh, thickness of oil was it 1040? Uh, 1540. 1540. Yeah, 1540. Uh, yeah, just like the diesel. Uh, yeah, any truck. any kind yeah. you want it as long as it's a good uh, quality 1540. Um, on the transmission, you need to use the UDT. UDT. UDT, the Kubota brand. Okay. Because I got right now I got a tractor split in half because the pump went bad. Because they got a I don't know what kind of oil they got in there when I drain <laughs> it. It was black. I mean, pure black, <laughs> like an engine oil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you have two fuel pumps: one for the hydraulics okay. and one for the hydro stuff. On the hydro. So this is right here is gonna be for the transmission. Okay. And the other one over there is gonna be just for the hydraulics. So the hydraulics. do I order the oil filters from y'all, or do I can get them at O'Reilly's, or do you know, like I just give them the part number off the oil filters? Uh, how many hours do I do before the, I change the first the oil? service on the on this track is gonna be 50 hours. 50 hours. Yeah, you're gonna change the engine oil and all the filters. Use all the filters. And um, after that, I think it's every 200 hours on the engine and 400 on the transmission. Okay. And 400 on the transmission, you're gonna have to drain the oil and put a new. This one don't have a stick. You have a little glass that you put on the side, right there. Okay. And you can see where the bowl is, all the way to the top. It's kind of green color right now. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to see it. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, the see? bubbles at yeah. the very top. Yeah. yeah. So right there is gonna you gonna see if you need more or that's good. Um. Is it water in the tires? Yes, sir. Okay. It's water in the tires. We're well, antifreeze. Antifreeze, yeah, yeah, yeah. That way they're not busting in winter. And air on the front. Yeah. No. All, All right. right. So you was asking me how to take the bicycle in the front? Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to move. Oh. Good. I mean, I pretty much I, I know how to do that. This is what I wanted. I just case oh. when we got to use the bush hauler. That one is easy, too. Okay. <laughs> Put the legs on the ground. It's not too bad. See, it's, like I said, it's kind of easy to. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you just lean this seat up and put that one down when you're using yep. that. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Appreciate it. Right here. And that's all you can have. Okay. To all the way to the back. 
as far okay. as uh, yeah okay. a lot of people they asking me why they don't make a little bit that's, that's the way they that's made make it. A we can make our own yeah <laughs> yeah because i mean <laughs> for me it's all right yeah, we we we're not that big. But, we'll be all right. <laughs> we ain't that big. He's six foot. Steve four. might have issues yeah. and tater. Yeah. I'm talking about legs. <laughs> oh, I got you. People, you know, like this. Right. And then like this. And I have some customers. They say, "Can we move the seat?" No, sir. It's all you can. All you can get. But you can buy the rubber tracks to go on yes, the same thing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Lock that in. That okay. Okay. That way you can use the uh, PTO three point hitch. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. the three point hitch. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I got you. Shoot. Right now with this on there, it's just kind of it's it flowing works. through this. So yeah. when you take it off, you just do it so that it's got a loop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's a, uh, yeah, it is a loop. Got that it. Way you can use the um, three point hitch. Got it. All right. Yeah. All right, we've been out here going ahead and uh, putting the Kubota through a few paces, see what it can do. Got this grapple on here, that thing's been great. So I went ahead and got the cameras out, and uh, so I got the camera sitting there. I'll get a little bit of footage from that and then this. So uh, it's amazing the stuff that is up in the woods. You know, you don't even notice it's there until you start cleaning up. Like there's a white box out in there somewhere. I don't know what that is. Anyway, just cleaning all this up. Just all this falling crap over the years. And you know, no one's done anything with it, of course. And uh, just taking care of it. So we're going to do this. I've been grabbing these. Made myself a pile over here. I think Chris might be proud. Boy, I think that's the all right pile. Boy, he's going to tell me everything's wrong with it but grab the brush pile that was over there from where we cleaned that side out finish that up and yeah so we're just gonna over time of course you know work through this and then work through those edges and get that straight and then i'm gonna go in and everything um everything like four inches and smaller and all the small stuff we're gonna cut out and get all that out and just leave the big stuff and uh yeah there you go
this is what we ended up with after well as you saw when chris came by I had two hours on it and we've done some other stuff so less than two hours of work and we had uh had us a little pile here that we're gonna burn today and let me show you what where that pile came from so anyway we got the big stuff out of here there's a telephone pole over there in the distance that we've got to move so this is kind of how we want everything to look at least this cleaned out then uh we're probably going to put in a bring in a wood chipper so we got all this little crap to get out that's almost a losing battle though because you cut this back and then this stuff grows back this was cut under there so that's a stump let me see if you see this so that's a stump of a, the little trees that we cut out and you see what happens is when these sprouts come off of it because it's got that big root system that was supporting a big tree i mean all this growth was only in like six months if that right so i mean you're always going to be fighting that unless you get the stumps out so you know right along the edge we'll probably get the stumps out some of them but for the most part like i said this is going to be a yearly battle um some people like to uh use chemicals to keep this stuff down but like i said we're trying to keep chemicals away from the property and not use it so yeah it'd be what it'd be but all the laying down laying around trash like this stuff and all that we're gonna get out but we got a lot of rain yesterday we got over an inch here for sure uh need to get a rain gauge still on my list usually the neighbors tell me but my one neighbor is at the hospital so we're praying for him he's got a little little heart issue to deal with so while they take care of that <laughs> i didn't keep up with it but it rained a lot last night it rained yesterday morning and a lot last night so next up is see this area and then all along that road there because when you're riding up and down the road that's of course what you see the most and then we're going to build a machine shed to keep everything in and uh everything that's on the other side of the chicken houses that's kind of the collection yard for crap uh leftover stuff tubing and you know you see it it's in most of the videos so we're gonna go through all that and everything we're keeping will end up in uh, part of what we're doing for the machine shed get that area cleaned up